Hello everyone. Um, this is a tutorial where I'm going to show you how we implement a face detector with Cornea using the new uh, OpenCV AI kit. Actually, it's an OFD that has it's a stereo camera, but in this case, we are only to use the central camera, the RGB, RGB camera. So let me explain. I prepared a small script with the new API, feature API for Cornea for the camera. So first of all, let's take a look at the code. Here I do some imports, um, OpenCV, Torch, and then the Cornea config for the face detector and the camera stream. This is the new API that will come in the future releases in Cornea. We create an object for the camera stream that creates the OFD using the RTBD. And then this is the size of our image. Here, this is a very interesting part. We declare a sequential using torts, some utilities to convert to add the dimension of the bats and convert to float. And then here we create a detector and this is our pipeline. And then the rest is just, if you're familiar with OpenCV, uh, we implemented the API very similar. So we have this while loop where we get the new frame. In that case, using the video stream, it's already a uh, torch tensor. And finally here, we just uh, call the pipe. We pass the tensor, we get the results. We have for convenience this face detector results where we can use it up for decode the information to later make it easy to draw. I'm gonna show you now. Here we compute the frame per second to evaluate the performance of the algorithm. And here we are just plotting the results. Um, it's a for loop over the detections and you will see this is the drawing of the bonding box. And also here, since uh, the method it's able to detect the faster key points. We have also here a method draw key point that will draw the uh, different key points on the image. And that's it. So very simple. I'm going to show you now how it works. This algorithm um, is the same that you are going to find in the OpenCV in the future releases. So here we enabled just uh, using PyTorch. It's a very um, light network. It runs now with CPU. You will see that the results are quite good. You see that the frames per second is very high. You see key points. Then some examples here. You will have some pictures, <laughs> family pictures. Um, you can see that it's not only um, single phase, but here you can see that, oh, sorry, we can detect multiple phases with the key points associated. So this method uh, works quite well, it's fast, it's ready to deploy also for uh, JetSon, so you can export to ONNX. Yeah, so feel free to play with it and give us um, some feedback. Thanks.